In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about stretch fabrics, knits, jerseys, whatever you refer to it as. I'm Colleen G. Lee and this is Fashion Sewing Blog. Stretch fabrics. Now, the properties of stretch fabrics is all about the knit and that is how the fabric is actually made. Now, knit is what gives it its stretch. And basically, if you think of a, a jumper or um, a, a jersey, quote unquote, um, it's all about how they are, the, the, the yarns are kind of like woven together. And that is by loops. I'm trying to break this down as simplify it as I possibly can. And, and with loops in fabric gives it stretchability. Now, let me show you here. Now, I've got a, uh, a wool knit here. And um, if you can see, if you can think of, if you do any knitting, um, if you can think of it in, t in those terms, um, and when you knit, you're actually creating loops, and that is what gives it its stretchability. Yeah, so that's the way you need to think of it. And that way as well. Okay, and as I said, right, that it comes in different weights, and this is a, a lightweight, and um, it is a, a wool and it's a plain plain weave so we've got knit that side and pearl that side if you can think of it in those terms and another one here that i've got is a double knit and it's quite thick and it's more manageable than the previous one i've shown you and it's a much more firmer type of fabric as you can see and there's a stretch it stretches lengthwise and crosswise there's more stretch lengthwise and there is crosswise and that's basically because it's quite tightly um, woven together and another type of stretch fabric is one here you tend to find this is um, used in swimwear sportswear and even um, lingerie as well now this has lycra in it and it stretches as you can see there's an amazing amount of stretch in that and it stretches both ways so it's got four way stretch just like the two I've just shown you and it's a beautiful fabric to, to, to work with and has many properties and um, that as I've just said is what you would use for sportswear and lingerie for example now here's another stretch fabric but strictly speaking this is not a knitted fabric the only reason why um, I put it in the category of stretch fabric is actually woven and as you can see here this phrase so that's a very good clue that it's actually a woven fabric because it's actually a frayed and it's a plain weave and it has a little bit about stretch that way it's crosswise grain and the same amount of stretch I, was, I suppose in the lengthwise grain and it's actually lycra, there's a certain percentage of lycra that would be in this that will give it its stretch and that's just basically making um, woven fabrics a lot more manageable and easier to wear so but um, with this video it's mainly about knits that I'm talking about so there we have it, we have a woven that has got lycra in it that's knitted and we've got this knitted one which is mainly um, referred to as lycra fabric or spandex some of you may know it as and then we've got the double knit and then we have the wool single knit weave. So there you have it, just a general overview of knitted fabric. I hope you found this general overview of stretch fabrics helpful. Um, items that you can actually make stretch fabrics with um, are t-shirts for example, or leggings, um, loose fitted tops, and we can also use them for fitted garments as well. It's all about how you want to use your, um, your fabrics and also the choice that you actually made with your fabric that you want to use, whether it's going to be lightweight or heavy, heavyweight. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me and I'll see you next time.